Today I'm out at Delta 4 getting ready to build the CH-750 cruiser wings. I'm going to start with the right wing here on the table. So I'm starting to get all the parts together for the right wing. Of course the build begins with the skeleton of the wing so I'm gathering all those parts for the right wing. Uh, the nose ribs and the I already have the main spar there on the table for for that right wing also gathering all the uh, the rear ribs and placing them in the proper position in relation to that spar because they're not all the same ribs there are some that are a little different so they have to be in the right location and of course there's a left and a right wing so I'm at the same time I'm separating the left wing parts from the right wing parts and I'm storing the left wing parts back into the crate where they'll be safe here you can see I got most of the skeleton parts for that right wing on the table and that main spar is what's lying in between the uh, nose rib and the rear rib. Here's an example of some of the left wing parts that I've separated and put back in the crate. And you'll also see the left wing spar is in there also. Uh, some of the nose ribs. Stepping outside to get a little fresh air. Here's the left and right wing fuel tank and the left and right wing strut. out to get some more air here I've put the uh, right wing main bar on its edge just for the purpose of filming both sides so you can see what it looks like it is actually upside down and you'll notice all the lightning holes in the in the spar and also the ribs now the reason for those is of course to decrease the weight of the part and the flange of the holes actually makes the part more rigid and stronger than it was before without the holes at all. Also I might add you can't put these holes just anywhere on the part. They're specifically designed for where they're at uh, to get the maximum strength. Now that I have all the skeleton parts laid out on the table I'm going to start deburring the parts. Normally I wouldn't use a Scotch-Brite wheel for something like a rib because of their their uh, size and odd shape. But I'm just doing it to show you it can be done if you use a light enough pressure. Otherwise the uh, wheel could grab the, the rib right out of here. 
like to use uh, like about a 1500 grit sandpaper uh, and just uh, do it by hand and what you're doing is you're smoothing out the uh, cut marks out of the aluminum here I am uh, doing it by my preferred method if the drilled holes in the part are to their final size I'll also take a, a hole deburring tool and lightly knock the burrs off the, the drilled holes And of course you want to use very light pressure and just knock those burrs off the hole and not countersink into the aluminum. Once I get the deburring done, and I will wipe the part off. Uh, sometimes I'll use a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel, or even some warm water and, and uh, some Dawn dishwashing soap. Take off fingerprints and dirt pretty good on the aluminum. Can also be a good idea to do all your uh, drilling and uh, your pre-fitting of the parts. Uh, and then do the deburring as the very last but I do it both ways sometimes I do it this way Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.